of Zany Friends. I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. And before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to us uh, by clicking the subscription and ringing that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of the really interesting videos that we have coming out. Not just vlogs, but other things as well. Yes. Yes. Today we are going to talk about uh, Bottled Honey Designs stickers. We actually filmed this a couple weeks ago and our camera malfunctioned <laughs> so I we have to do it over again so uh if we can't really remember what we're talking about then I'm I forgive I forgive us just forgive us yeah cause just because we, 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 we've done this once before yeah. so. I don't know. What we're going to do is go through some weekly sticker kits that are available from Bottled Honey Designs and then a very special seasonal sticker pack that she sent me to show you guys. So as far as the weekly kits go, you can basically get them in three different sizes, either Happy Planner, Plum Planner, or Erin Condren size. Uh, I only have the front the main page from the sticker kit, but if you need more sticker kits with like quarter boxes, half boxes, full boxes, and all that jazz, you can get the additional pages that are with that. So before, uh, let's, let's just get started and just go in. show you let's what it this. is. All of her links are down below, her Facebook group, her Etsy shop, it's all there. So the first one is called Unicorns Lucky, and it is uh, pretty much St. Patrick's Day with unicorns. How do you feel about that? I like this so much. It is Max Adorbs. <laughs> I, I just, I think this unicorn is just so freaking cute. Yeah, get, get it. Let's see that. Let's see that unicorn right there. Oh, look at that. That is one happy unicorn. <laughs> So on most of her weekly kits, she does have the weekend banner. She's got a little like icons in here, to-do list. She's got the half boxes and she's got the full boxes and the little quarter boxes down here at the bottom. Icons for things you need to remember throughout the week. So that's her basic layout. Um, so it, it's anything you really need. So love that. And cake. Cake. The next one we have is called 50s Diner. I'm going to have Marshall talk about the graphic design aspect of these as we hold them up. I, I just, I, what I like about this one is its color scheme. It's very much of the 50s diner time period. But what's great about it is that it's not like, because sometimes you get some of these and they're really girly. Mm -hmm. A lot of the planner's stickers are designed kind of with women in mind. But this one is very good for unisex. It It's color schemes are not screaming one gender or the other and it's just it's easier to write on for some of these because they're just a little bit lighter in there i just feel like i could see what i write better on those yeah yeah then we have the practically perfect which is based on mary poppins i love her characters the way yeah. she does that that's probably the the biggest focus of why why we like bottled honey designs is she's got these really adorable way of putting through these characters mm -hmm. um you can definitely tell who they are supposed to be but they're her own style exactly um and i also like you know the little characters in there now are those supposed to be yeah those are supposed to be the kids from the first Jane one. and michael uh-huh yeah, yeah okay. this is the first movie yeah, yeah. Yep. Then we have a cancer and awareness one that's all done in purple. And just the clarity of this design is really good, especially with this tree that you see here. Because you got this really stark purple and white and a light purple for when you really want it. So yeah. it's it's just it's so clear. It's so clean. I like that. Next we have one that I've used a couple times. This is the Harry Potter mm -hmm. one. Yeah, we've seen that. I think we've actually done one with this before. We think we have decorated, but yeah. I had to get another one because I always have to have one on tap. Yeah. Like every year I have to use it again. And then like the other interesting thing about this is that the color scheme is kind of based more off of the... Um, Slytherin and Hufflepuff. It's Slytherin and Hufflepuff, but it's the less popular of the two, of the four houses. Like so many people are like, I'm a Gryffindor, I'm a Ravenclaw, but then... There are people that are like, well, yeah, I'm a Slytherin, and everybody looks down on them. Or I'm a Hufflepuff, and everybody's like, oh, aren't you so sweet? The world don't function without Hufflepuffs, folk. So true. Next. Next is like a kind of a Halloween vampire. It has a little bit different layout. It is, I think mm -hmm. it's an older set, um, but it has this really cute vampire bat on there. So it's cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's good. Black, red, vampire. We could totally use this to organize our Vampire the Masquerade games. That's if we good. did them. 
This one is leftover from Christmas. I just didn't have a chance to use it then, and so I save it for the next year. It's called Santa's Workshop. It's with this cute little Rodolph right there. I love it. And the it. colors are, are a little different than what you'd be expecting from a Christmas set. Yeah, you've got red, you've got green, you've got the gold, but they're all just got a little bit of a berry tinge to mm -hmm. it. So it, it's, I think it's a better one for, especially with your designs. Yes. The ones that you would use in your planner. It just mm -hmm. works better for you. It does. Then this is the Mardi Gras one. Of course Mardi Gras is coming up so I had to do this one. That fleur de lis. So cute. That's adorable. I love that. She also has uh, like a minimalist kits. So this is actually one that's more minimal. It doesn't have as many things on it but it's all these like octopuses and it's like a blue and yellow. And it, like, a lot of these flags are based off of things that you need to do. Mm -hmm. It's built around a design for a to-do list, okay. and I like that. This one I love, and I've used it before, but it's one of my favorites. It's called Retro Summer. It just makes me think of, you know, 50s California Beach Boys mm -hmm. summertime. And the colors are perfectly schemed for that. It's just a slightly muted red, which makes me think of, like, Coca-Cola. Like, classic Coca-Cola in the glass bottle. So true. And then here's we got the Incredibles. It's actually called Superpower Superhero Family, but you it's know what they're talking about. It's Incredibles. Mm -hmm. Edna Mode. I never look back, darling. <laughs> it's great. Then we have the Mystery Gang, which is all Scoobies. I kind of like this Scoobies. one. I think I might use it myself if I if I went and purchased these sorts of things because I I, I I knew that was gonna happen. I saw it flashing at me. Taco bread. Taco, not taco bread. Taco bread. Right, what were we talking about? Okay, so this is the um, this is the Scooby Doo Mystery Gang, I guess is what she called it. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I really like this one a lot. It's got the colors I would kind of like to use, especially with these the 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 checkmark flags here. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice it the first time I looked at it, but the center set of boxes here is actually it's rainbow colored bricks. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it actually fits in with the rest, but it's cool. I like it. I do too. Now we're going to go into this this that she sent me. This is the 2019 Spring Seasonal Sticker Pack, and it says Spring Umbrella. That's the theme. And I have the Harry the Harry Potter size. It says HP. It has Happy the Matt. Happy Planner size. Um, and we will show you what is in this. I believe this costs about $25. I always have trouble getting it out of the packaging. You get seven sheets. They are a little bit shorter than the ones we were showing you, but there's a lot more on it and that I can see. So page one is the Spring Umbrella Mini Weekly Kit, which you can definitely use in one week. You have your weekend banner, you've got your icons, your to-do checklist, your full-size boxes, you got some quarter boxes there and some little icons, and I think that's... That's great. That's pretty perfect for what I need to use it for. Yeah, uh, it's pretty clear boxes as well. I just, mm -hmm. in the color scheme, it's not that strong, like as in like pop out of your, off the page kind of thing. So I, I like that. Then if you would need more boxes, she has the Spring Umbrella full boxes and icons page, which gives you some more designs that you can use. I love That's the little ones. Stuff. I love these little ones up here. Great I love stuff. using those. And then, of course, you're like, I need some half boxes. So then she gives you a page of half boxes. And I do like these where you can just check off the things that you want to do. Yeah. Then there's the date covers and icons where you can use a week. And you put these on your headers. And then you can use all of these as your date stickers. And then there's a couple more icons down there as well. This actually inspired me to change my own planner layout. Because I was using these little boxes off to the side just as, like, markers to make it easier to see, and I decided I was going to start doing this, where I put the date number in there instead, and mm. it works out pretty well. Mm -hmm. This is the decorative and washi, so we've got little bitty icons and then the washi tape down there at the bottom. And then this one is more like keeping track of things you need to do every day, drinking your water. Trackers are good. And then this last one is keeping track of, like, when to buy your stickers. <laughs> 
that you need that so there's actually what I really love about this is not only is there a place to write down I need these which I have to do like every time she comes out with a new one I automatically add it to my Etsy cart and I just keep it in there um, but then there's also ones that you can do your sticker savings and then she has a sneak peek for next time which is called nautical lighthouse I think that's really thoughtful because then you can just take these also and be like, this is when my sticker is coming or this is when I need to order my stickers. Yeah, I, I like that idea. It's effective advertising that you can actually utilize. Mm -hmm. So those, those are all the little sticker sheets you get for 25 bucks. Usually a sheet like this is for, I want to say it's like $4.20, $4.50 for a sheet like this of stickers. Um, so for you to get seven for 25 that's actually a really good price for all of this um, but and I like that it's like seasonal all the time so you know you don't get them every month you get it like I think you do it four times a year which for me is great because that's like doing like a, subscri a subscription service for stickers oh there's more in here I forgot I told you okay there's also this little pack okay. Uh, there's two of these little washies and they are clouds and umbrellas inside the washi so that too yeah I keep forgetting that that's in there um, but anyway that is the end of our bottled honey show off I know I'm a rep for her like I don't get I don't I don't get any additional perks depending on how many people I refer her. I just do this because I'm friends with her and I really want to support her business and so I try to find ways to use her stuff in everything that I'm doing in my planner so that's pretty much why you see me post a lot especially on my Instagram every Monday I post a planner layout for the week so you can see that if you follow me on Instagram all right yeah so thank you so much for watching and until next time stay zany bye bye